guys, so today we're gonna guide you through a enormous um, step an enormous project where you can install Android 8.1 directly onto your HTC One M7 as you can see right there so right there so I'm currently running XOSP the the Xperia open source project right there so I'm gonna show you how to install AICP 13.1 which has a lot of pixel customizations on it and let's get started so first you want to head over to both of those links and make sure you have those app those um those stuff so right here you got those three um the open g apps and wait let, let me just refresh it okay aicp m7 and open g apps right there so make sure you have those those two ones and like and you want to have one more thing, the twerp image for it. So, I'm going to guide you through how to, how to do it. So, first, you're going to head over to HTC Developer's website. Since, because, because it, your bootloader is locked. But if you have ever installed a custom ROM, the bootloader sh should be unlocked un unless you relock it again. If you relock it or you haven't unlocked it, you're going to head over to the HTC Developer Center where you're going to sign up, register for account, then hit Unlock Bootloader. Hit Get Started, then it will bring you to a website where you can, where you can do all of those stuff. Select your device, just scroll, scroll down until you find HTC One M7 right there. Click Begin, begin Unlock Bootloader. So first, you're gonna lo log in or register first in order to start the unlocking boot pro bootloader process. And after you're logged in, you're gonna hit begin unlock bootloader. So after after you finish those steps, you will receive an unlock code. Um, it's gonna it's gonna port it to your email. So make sure to use the valid email. You can you can access it to it. Then you're gonna download the file. Then connect your device to your your computer and start the unlocking process. So I'm gonna show you my bootloader state is unlocked. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down. Let me just try that again. Okay, power off. Now it's shutting down. Now we're gonna unplug it and we're gonna go ahead and do the the bootloader process so wait for a bit until it's fully shut it down okay so now the whole device is shut it down now you're gonna click on the the power button and volume down to enter bootloader mode it's gonna take a while it, but it won't take you to the send splash screen it'll just take you directly to the bootloader so here is the bootloader then go ahead Go ahead, once your bootloader is unlocked, just connect it directly onto your, your HTC device. Oh, let me try that again. It's really, really hard to use it in one hand. So, wait a second. Alright, so once you get your USB cable connected to your device, you're going to use the volume buttons. No, we're not going to use it right now. But you're gonna highlight fast boot right there, then hit the power button. Then you can see now it's in the fast boot mode, it's fast use USB. Then then go ahead to Google's SDK, download the latest SDK platform tools. So right there, platform tools. I'm gonna show you how this works. So basically you're gonna download the platform tools, then Extract all of those stuff and locate on your desktop. This is what is most important about using computer in this process. Wait for a second. I'm gonna okay. Right here, I have a I have a um, folder located located here. It's called Platform Tools. That's why it's originally. Copy the path, then open 
command prompt. Don't worry, you don't need to open command prompt with administrator. That don't you don't worry about it. So I've already in this in this uh directory. Now all you're gonna type is type fastboot devices and make sure. Oh wait, I just press tab. I'm gonna re-enter it again. Well, seriously, I haven't tried this command before. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, we have that fastboot mode. Then you're gonna type fastboot. Wait, fastboot. Then you're gonna try <coughs> type flash recovery. Make sure your device is still connected right there. Then you're gonna head over to your twerp image file. Then copy the path. So right there, just take a while. Just hit copy path. If you're on Windows 10, that's pretty easy. Or just copy the whole path of it. Then paste it, then hit enter. I'm not gonna do this right now. I already do some um, configurations to my twerp recovery. But just hit enter and everything will be okay. Um, so I'm not gonna do that now. Then after that, you will see bootloader to appears to be nothing. So that's normal. Click power button to boot to bootloader. Then you'll hear you know, you'll hear it's disconnected from the device. Just highlight down to recovery. Hit the power button. Then you can see there is a sign of entering recovery. So you have successfully re um replaced the original stock recovery to toward recovery. So it's gonna take um some it's gonna take a couple seconds to boot into the Team Win Recovery Project. So if you're on this page, that means you have successfully um, booted into the Twerp Recovery. Then, then the following process is quite easy. First, you're gonna head over to your phone, hit wipe, make sure you it's still connected, and click swipe to factory reset. It's okay, your data is not formatted, your data is not wiped. I'm gonna show you right now, my data is not wiped, right there. Just hit advanced, ADB side load, then swipe to start ADB side load. Until you see this and you have your device um, on there, just click on, get back to your, to your um, command prompt. Um, then we're gonna do the flashing process. So I'm gonna show you, I, I'm successfully wiped. Then we're gonna start the wiping. Then we're gonna start the installation process. Click on your AICP ROM. I'm gonna link in the description below. Copy path. Then head over to your CMD. Click on it. Then type ADB side load. Then click Control plus V to paste your path. After that, click. Enter. If you see some any kind of error that means your device is not properly configured, then you can see serving. That means you're successfully um trans like transmitted your your file to your device. Now I'm gonna wait until this is flash done. So oh, this is what it looks like when it's finished. So it should be script succeeded. It should not be any errors. Just hit back. The ADB side load again. We're gonna flash another file right there. So head over to your command prompt and your Windows Explorer. Then flash what is the the arm? This one. No, not this one. Um, wait for a second. So I'll be right back when when this when it's finished. I haven't realized that the download isn't complete. All right, so we're back. So we have a little bit plan changing because because OpenGAPS 8.1 is very rare and, I, and most of the files I get from the internet are corrupted. So we're gonna use use instead of the, of the Pickle GApps instead of the Nano GApps. So right there, then we're gonna turn, then you're gonna now I'm gonna ADB side load that. Okay. So click on it. And no, we're gonna copy path over there. 
then go to command prompt and type in ADB side load. Does that again? Oh wait, I'm I'm using Chinese input. ADB side load. Right. Control V, then hit enter. Okay, so I now it's gonna flash that again, and I'll, I'll come back when it's finished. So G apps has now install complete, and now um, you can choose to install um, the root application, but but it doesn't work. It doesn't work on on my device, so I I didn't I don't recommend installing root. And sure, you cannot you cannot install G apps. You can just just not not enjoy the Google Play Store then. So, pretty much, if you're on this step, then you're probably done. So, just hit reboot system. Then it's gonna start the boot process, where it's gonna t where it's gonna take no longer like than five minutes, and I'll come back. So right here we have this um, a uh, yellow golden um boot logo right there. On the previous build, it was blue. So I think this has some bug fixes then. So, we'll wait for it. Also, by the way, Lineage OS 15.1 has now been officially released by the Lineage OS team. And I'm going to show you right now. So, right there. We're going to type, um, let's see, Lineage. Okay, so it started its change lock 16 right there. Oh my, finally Oreo. So these are a bunch of redesigned application icons from the Lineage OS team, which look fantastic. I can't wait for the update. Not even an update, an unofficial one will I will be really appreciated. So Oreo is coming is coming on Monday. Sorry for my English. So right there we got all of those awesome applications and features. It's a feature rich device and feature rich custom ROM. So Lineage OS is becoming better than all of those um, customization rich custom ROMs. So we'll wait until the boot complete, then we'll continue. Okay, so we're in. So this is pretty much the ultimate pixel experience right there. So all we're gonna do is tap, let's go. Skip, if you have a SIM card, you, you can absolutely tap, tap to set up. I'm gonna set up as new and I'll, then I'll come back when it's all finished. And after all of that, we're inside the lock screen. So, and, and we're into the home screen. So this looks really fantastic. Well, I did some tweaks and modifications onto it, but this is truly amazing. You got that pure pixel blue, and that just looks very cool. So, and that's about it. Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoy.